Hello, in this video tutorial we are going to look at how to add files into the course so that students can have access to those files um, so that uh, you do not have to make copies of things that can be put digitally for students. You'll notice in the course navigation on the left hand side that there is a link that said, says files. When I click on files I'm going to see all the files that I already have uploaded. Notice that I can make new folders and then I can upload files. So I'm going to click on Add Folder and I'm going to make a Unit 3 folder for respecting others' work. Once I press Enter, that folder is now created. Clicking one time on the folder will open it up. So I can see in my uh, navigation tree here that in my demo course I now have two folders and within the Unit 3 folder, I can see that it is empty. So now to upload, I'm just going to click on the Upload button. And then I'm going to navigate to where I want to get those files. So I have some files here for respecting others' work. So first I'm going to do the video uh, because it's rather long. And I'm going to say Open. And while that video is loading, I can go ahead and click on Upload and say that I want the PDF to load as well. So as soon as the video loads, the PDF will load as well. I'm going to uh, pause my video, and as soon as everything's loaded, I will be right back. Okay, now that the files have both loaded, uh, you can see that the two files are here. If I look to the far right, I see that both are automatically published. So if I did not want my students to watch the video just yet, I could unpublish here, say that I want it unpublished, click on Update, and now students will not be able to see this video until I'm ready and I can just click on Publish, come back in and publish that video, and now students would be able to see the video. Now we will create a page to start a module and we will look at how you can link these files to a module. So I'm going to click here on my modules and I'm going to scroll down and I already have my module created. So I now want to add a new page. So I'm going to click on the down arrow at the top, and I'm going to click on Content Page. And I have quite a few pages already created, but I want this to be a new page. And I'm going to call this Unit 3 Resources. And I'm going to add the item. So now I have added the item. Notice that when I add this item, it is unpublished until I want students to look at it. I will click on my Unit 3, and I will go in and edit. And now I will add the different files that I want in here. So on the first uh, part, this would be, I can say this is the Unit 3 Worksheets. And then if I highlight those words, I can come over here to the right hand side where all of my content is and I can click on files. You'll notice that these are my course files. I click the little triangle out in front and I can see all the files I've uploaded to my course. Here is the folder I just created and I want this uh, PDF to be linked here. Then I can press enter and I want the video to be next. So when I click on the link, it will automatically put the link here. Now once we save and publish this page, not only does it put the link to the video, but it puts a small thumbnail. So I can either click on the video itself here, or I can click on the link to make the video run. But now when students go into the modules, and they click on the Unit 3 Resources, they have a link of all the resources that they need to get to within that module. Or, students can simply go to the Files for the class, 
they can open up the Unit 3 folder and they can get the uh, links there to get to the information that they need. Thank you.